the silent danger. Now at 6, we're learning more about three people killed recently in an avalanche in Chelan County. And some precipitation as our weather pattern transitions to nicer conditions here in the Columbia. Jason Valentine will get you prepared in his forecast. Plus, Washington ranks among states considering new legislation that could roll back some protections for gun manufacturers, but only in certain situations. Now, Cap KVU local news at 6. A reminder from Mother Nature that winter has not yet ended. Now at 6, we've got some possible wet weather with potential snow forecast in Yakima. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. We're going to get straight to the forecast. We're taking a look at the activity showing up on the radar. It's been moving to the east, kind of out of our area. We are expecting some rain and potentially snow, though, in the Yakima area. Jason Valentine is tracking your forecast. Good Monday evening, everyone. Hope you've had a wonderful day today and a nice weekend as well. Think of today as a transition day. It's taking Yakima and Ellensburg a little, little longer to warm up like the mid Columbia and the lovely blues area has done so. So that's why today we've seen more snow than not in the Yakima Ellensburg areas and in the mid Columbia and the blues. We're seeing rain snow mixed to rain even right now. We do expect things to be settling down as we get overnight into tomorrow. More scattered showers than not. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we should be looking very nice. And by Wednesday, all of our areas should be pretty solidified in these warmer conditions and much more sunshine is on the way as well. So today, though, a bit of a transitional day. I'll get you ready for the rest of your work week and even a look at your weekend in my forecast coming up. But for right now, let's send it back to you. Thanks, Jason. Three men have been arrested in Walla Walla, accused of robbing a man and holding him hostage. The men are all facing charges of kidnapping, robbery and assault. According to authorities, a 27 year old man reported he was at an apartment on Evergreen Street. When he was attacked by the three men. Authorities said the victim was beaten up and his valuables were taken from him. But this happens just over a week after another robbery case in Walla Walla. Police tell us they're not likely related. They were one week apart and they were not related. They were both isolated incidents where there was some sort of relationship or the suspects knew the victims. They were not random acts and we have no reason to believe that the community is in any danger. At one point, authorities said the victim was told by one of the men to run away from the apartment. The victim ran out the door and called police. Authorities say officers got to the scene and after a short standoff, the three men were eventually taken to the Walla Walla County Jail. A fire in Kennewick illustrates the danger of high wind and dry ignition sources despite the cold weather we've seen. A fire sparked yesterday on a fence, then spread to an unattached garage on North Kent Street. Kennewick Fire Department firefighters quickly put out those flames. Firefighters say a child may have accidentally started the fire in a backyard. Then high winds pushed the flames to dry grass and a wood pile near the fence eventually ignited that unattached garage. This is a prime opportunity for parents to talk with younger children about the dangers of playing with fire. An update now to a story we, we reported last week. Tonight we know more about three people killed in an avalanche near Leavenworth. The snow slide came down more than a week ago on Kolchuk Peak. The Chelan County Sheriff's Office says the body of a 54-year-old Korean citizen who had been living in Connecticut has been recovered. A 60-year-old from New York and a 66-year-old from New Jersey were also killed in the avalanche. At the time, avalanche danger was high in the entire region. It's now dropped down to considerable, according to the Northwest Avalanche Center. Investigators giving some answers tonight about a man found dead on Washington State University's Pullman campus. That discovery coming Friday evening at the university's Compton Union building. The Whitman County Coroner's Office says the 39-year-old man died of natural causes. We're told the campus police found the man unresponsive and could not revive him. Today, SELA middle schoolers got a lesson in how they can use social media to support each other instead of using it to bring people down. Cap KV's Emily Goodell tells us through the presentation, students also learned... They're not as different as they might think. Raise your hand if you have felt anxiety or depression. Raise your hand if you or someone you know have had thoughts of suicide. If you're a young person struggling with your mental health, you're not alone. It's obviously alarming to us because we do see a lot of those uh, issues that come out each and every day and how our kids interact, how they socialize with each other. 
how they treat each other online. Inappropriate things being said, racial comments that are being made. We do have some, you know, inappropriate photos that are being sent even at our at a middle school. <laughs> Kids are often the first ones to see it, but not always the first ones to act. 48% of students are not turning to adults for help online because either A, they don't want the device taken away, or snitches get stitches mentality. But Digital for Good encourages kids to become digital first responders. The options, tell a parent or teacher discreetly. We have an a anonymous app that we use here at the school. It's, it's called Stop It. Nobody has to know where it came from. They don't have to see you in the administrator's offices. Directness works too. They can go to the person who posted it saying, dude, this is messed up. They can also check in on the person like Bailey who is being targeted. Are you okay? The students were asked to take a good hard look at their social media and the way that they use their phones to see whether or not they're sharing and receiving content that makes people's days or breaks people's days. The advice? Cut out toxic influences on social media and use digital for good by sharing positive stories and compliments instead. So I'm just hopeful like, hey, you all feel it, you see it, now what can you go do about it? And we're way more powerful together and I'm here to support you um, and let's do this together. In Sela, Emily Goodell, Cap gave you local news. The principal also told us they would be held, handing out a survey to students and having them talk to their advisors about what they learned today. Well, the February election focused on school bonds and levies in our area, and once again, the Mapton School District bond has failed to pass. This failed bond was meant to improve safety to renovate and expand Mapton Junior Senior High School. A bond needs 60 or more percent of the vote to pass. This one got 55 percent and only a difference of 27 votes. The Baptist School District Superintendent says the school board plans to come together later this spring to discuss the results and what to do next. The superintendent says that since months have passed since the previous bond was designed, any plan moving forward will require an update on costs and scope of projects. Washington lawmakers continue to examine legislation that would legally allow fourplexes and duplexes in most communities across our state. House Bill 1110 has passed the House Appropriations Committee. It next goes to the Rules Committee. Lawmakers have to give it full support in both the State House and Senate before it could be sent to the governor. The aim of this proposal, advocates say, is to increase the housing supply. Opponents believe that zoning and planning decisions should be coming from local government. Leadership Tri-Cities is an educational program that examines issues around the region. The organization teams up with other local groups for its annual class project. This year, the class is partnering with the Domestic Violence Services of Benton and Franklin Counties to open up a new thrift store to help support their mission. Cap KV's Riley Fitzgerald says for members of this group, it's also about healing. I'm a domestic violence survivor, and so part of my wanting to join Leadership Tri-Cities is that I would love to create a platform for myself to be a voice for domestic violence victims in the Tri-Cities. Jenna Kokenauer says initially she didn't want her passion to impose on other Leadership Tri-Cities students. But now she says she's only seen support from her classmates for this project. And seeing the class members embrace this project and put so much effort and love and attention to something that I am so passionate about has truly truly warmed my heart in a way that I never thought was possible. Now it's all set up work getting ready for the soon to come opening of the Domestic Violence Services Thrift Store. It's a process that's taken a few years to get underway, but it's full speed ahead. And they decided last year in January, we'll give it a shot. And we were able to get this location right next door to our services um, in October. And so once we did that, then we started um, trying to get ready for everything that we needed. Kokenauer says the DVS already had the space but needed a little spark to get it going. That's where Leadership Tri-Cities came in. The group organized a construction committee to work on some improvements, building projects and painting, as well as an outreach team working with students at WSU Tri-Cities to help rebrand the store. It's going to continue to be a service for domestic violence survivors in need. So we rotate people into apartments and they don't have anything, so this really helps. Uh, as well as a thrift store for anyone to shop in with funding that goes straight to domestic violence services. What is something that 10 years from now we can go, hey, we did that? It's going to be located right next door to their services in Kennewick to help local domestic violence survivors.
In Kennewick, Riley Fitzgerald, Cap KVU Local News. Now their goal is to open by the end of March. On April 1st, Leadership Tri-Cities and the Domestic Violence Services of Benton and Franklin Counties are teaming up for a fashion show where the proceeds all go back to support this thrift store project. Washington and several other states are now considering removing protections for gun manufacturers, but only in cer certain circumstances. We're going to explain coming up. And a Wenatchee woman returns from quake-stricken Turkey, where she saw the devastation firsthand. Plus, a film shot in eastern Washington is about to celebrate a special anniversary, and one group wants to preserve memories from locals who worked on participating in the filming. You're watching Cap KV Local News at 6. I remember when you get a whole meal for $5. <laughs> yeah, it was last Tuesday. Oh. And every Tuesday at AW, where single Papa Burger combos complete the fries and a root beer cost just five bucks. The good old days are here again. A complete meal for just five bucks. Tuesdays only at AW. The goal at High Point Kitchen and Bath is to offer high quality products, a large selection, and a personal touch. That's hard to find these days. Whether you're replacing a kitchen faucet or designing your dream bathroom, High Point offers the latest styles in bath and kitchen design from leading manufacturers like Kohler, Moen, and Brizo. Before you start that next project, meet with one of our showroom consultants to see the many styles and features available in today's fixtures. We are always excited to help create a space you'll love. My mom hired bath fitter to make me a new bath. My friend Jimmy said that when he got a new bath, it took for ever. Jimmy didn't have to take a bath for a month. I didn't even get to miss one bath. It's just not fair. Bath Fitter will remodel your bath in as little as one day. We've got over 2 million satisfied customers and 35 years experience. Call now or visit bathfitter.com for a free in-home consultation. I just got the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra from US Cellular. With the most powerful processor yet, it can game smoother than ever. With nitography, it can take selfies in low light. Click. And with a longer battery life and US Cellular's 5G network, it can stream my favorite shows around the clock. Amazing. Can it go back in the back? Yeah, it can go back in the back. Okay. Did you just kiss the phone? The new Samsung Galaxy S23. I don't think I did. Free for everyone from US Cellular. I kissed it? Yes. <laughs> Watch tonight at 8 on Cap KV, sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health's Dermatology Center in Benton City. Your best defense against erosion and cavities is strong enamel. Nothing beats it. New Pro Enamel Active Shield actively shields the enamel to defend against erosion and cavities. I think that this product is a game changer for my patients. It really works. The majority of my patients with sensitivity, I see irritated gums and weak enamel. Sensodyne sensitivity gum and enamel relieves sensitivity, helps restore gum health, and rehardens enamel. I'm a big advocate of recommending things that I know work. Thanks to Les Schwab tires, I'm a constant vaccine driver, but mine's a little stressed about spending. Remember, deep breaths and watch your speed. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. During the Les Schwab Founders Celebration Sale, save up to $150 instantly on select sets of four tires. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. KFC has wraps now? Got two for five bucks. Mmm. <laughs> Wait, there's one with spicy slaw? Yeah. Grab two new Kentucky Fried Chicken Wraps for just five bucks. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back, everyone. A Wenatchee woman traveled to Turkey to help in the aftermath of the earthquakes impacting that area. She's now returned to the U.S. and shares her experience and explains what ongoing relief efforts look like overseas. Brady Wakiyama has her story. I get to walk away from this, but the, their lives are in shambles and it's going to take so much time to um, recover from that. Jamie Smith reflecting on what she says was the most impactful trip of her life. A lot of the buildings that were left standing were no longer safe to live in. So a lot of people were, you know, living in tent cities that were popping up or they're living around little, you know, fires that they're building in between the rubble. We spoke with Smith, a nurse who lives in Wenatchee earlier this month. 
She, along with three other volunteers through the nonprofit organization Impact Northwest, made their way to Turkey to provide help. Just two days after the devastating earthquake rocked the country. You have a whole generation now that has lost somebody and there's just going to be that trauma that comes from that and just that grief that comes from that. So your heart just really went out to everybody there just knowing what they have ahead of them. Over 10 days, she and her team drove more than 2,600 miles throughout Turkey, providing food, water, and blankets to countless families impacted. So, so many people going through such a hard thing and just to see like so their generosity and their kindness and how good they were to each other. It was just a great reminder of the humanity that is still out there. Smith says she would be more than willing to go back to provide additional aid and hopes others will consider doing anything they can to help as well. I would just hope if we had something that happened here in the U.S. to that scale, that we would also be getting help from other nations because it's just it's too much for one country to deal with. And I think the more we're able to help each other, just it makes it overall a better world. Well, here in the Pacific Northwest, we humans may not enjoy bone-chilling cold temperatures like those that arrived last week, but some animals sure do. Check out this video from the Oregon Zoo. Heavy snow blanketed Portland last week, and that forced the Oregon Zoo to close to the public on Thursday and Friday. But it gave polar bears a chance to frolic in the snow and the otters to have a little fun as well. Now, Cap Cave View First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Monday evening everyone hope you've had a wonderful day today and we do have a warming trend though some places are a little warmer than others it's taking a little time for Ellensburg and Yakima to catch up we do have more sunshine later this week but light snow to rain as we move into our overnight period though we are seeing some precipitation in many of our areas right now so as we head into our evening hours here's what we're looking at right now and then things are bound to settle down in our overnight period again scattered showers very possible as we get overnight and again a little bit more snow possible for Yakima, Toppenish, Ellensburg areas and a little bit of rain snow mix for the Tri-Cities. But as we get to tomorrow morning and as we move on in the day we have kind of some showers uh, kind of surrounding us but our areas are looking to be staying dry especially by the time we get to Wednesday when all of our regions should be finally kind of solidified in those warmer temperatures and well more sunshine for your conditions. So for our temperature trend we have gotten out of that quick uh, reminder that we were in winter at the end part of last week and we're just going to stay still below the average for this time of year but still much warmer a real good uh, dichotomy to what we saw last week so warmer conditions are going to be sticking around now winds we saw pretty much light winds today they're going to pick up tomorrow about around 15 mile per hour winds and again it could be heavier in Ellensburg and Pendleton lighter on Wednesday and then some pretty heavy winds on Thursday so we do have a pretty breezy week ahead but of course that's good it keeps our air quality fresh and this wind is from the southwest so it will keep things warm throughout our areas take a look at our almanac so today 38 for the Yakima region that's more than 10 degrees off of our average we'll get much closer to that as we get to Wednesday overnights are looking pretty normal and look at that four degrees just my goodness, 12 years ago in the Tri-Cities area, still lacking a little bit behind uh, our, nor our normalcy for this time of year, but our overnight low is just above our normal and also four, and that was uh, all-time low, four. That was just, what, four years ago. So a lot of chilly conditions that we don't have to deal with this year. So daylight savings time, just under two weeks away. Again, we gain an hour of sunshine, but we lose an hour for that weekend. St. Patrick's Day, 18 days away, and yes, spring, just three weeks away. In our overnight period, we are looking still below the freezing mark, but we're st steadily getting warmer. And again, some light snow to rain snow mix possible overnight, but nothing like we saw today. As we move into our Tuesday, we're going to be in those mid to lower 40s as Ellensburg and Yakima slowly start to warm up. Again, some morning precipitation possible, but we'll see some sunshine tomorrow as well. And spe speaking of sunshine, we have much more on the way as we get to the 50s for Thursday and Friday for the Tri-Cities. A little bit cooler for your weekend and next work week, but look at all of that sunshine on the way. Overnight lows recover as well, getting near or at that freezing mark starting Wednesday 
late night. In the Yakima region, going to get to those upper 40s for Thursday and Friday. A little cooler as we head into our weekend. So Yakima, Ellensburg, you're still lagging a little bit behind in the temperature department from the mid-Columbia and the blues. But we're going to solidify everything by Wednesday. And again, some scattered showers possible overnight into tomorrow morning. But folks, warmer temperatures and sunshine to come this week. Thanks, Jason. We still have a lot more news to bring you in our next half hour. Concerns for families of people with autism after an Eastern Washington resource closed. One man says it represents a much larger issue for the entire state of Washington. That's new tonight at 630. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Next ET, we're with Tom Cruise gearing up for Maverick's Oscar close-up. I just can't believe this moment's here. And kicking it with the Queens at the NAACP Image Awards. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Cap KVO. Wait, hold up. DQ put fries and onion rings in a chicken strip basket? Did you know this? Oh, uh, of course you did. It's sitting right in front of you. Sorry. I mean, you got fries and onion rings together. Is this for real? Hey, baby, wait. Oh, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it just got really real. Grab a chicken strip and fry rings basket. Okay, just one. Just one. DQ, happy tastes good. Get it delivered at DQ.com. Like, yeah. The stylish Chevy Equinox RS like, uh, and Chevy Blazer RS. So you don't have to be an influencer to be an influencer. The, the RS family of Chevy SUVs definitely worth a follow. Get 2.99% financing for five years on all 2023 Equinox models or get $1,000 cash allowance on all 2023 Equinox models. Plus, current competitive owners get an additional $750 cash allowance. Your roof protects your home and family every day. Shouldn't it be the best roof possible? With Air Roofing, a family-owned business in Prosser, you'll see why our customer reviews speak for themselves. No job too small, big enough to take care of your roofing needs. Air Roofing, a company built on quality and reputation. Honey, are you throwing the throw pillows? Relaxing to watch TV can be hard. Remember how they stack. Okay. Actually watching TV. HBO app. It's easy with Dish. Honey? Hmm? Are you on the boudoir cushion? What's a boudoir cushion? Live TV and streaming apps together with Dish. Tuned in to you. This is Heart Health Awareness Month. To help stay healthy, check your cholesterol and blood pressure on a regular basis. There's more at actrynews.com. The Prosser Heart Center at Prosser Memorial Health offers a full spectrum of cardiology services, now accepting new patients. This is how we care. The local water experts at Culligan can take care of everything but the kitchen sink. Actually, we do that too. Culligan, here for every water worry. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. More than a half dozen states, including Washington, are considering new laws that would roll back some protection for gun makers if their weapons are used in deadly crimes. Federal law basically says that gun makers can't be held responsible for what happens with their weapons after those weapons leave the store. But several states are considering laws that would make it easier for gun violence survivors and their family members to file civil lawsuits. What would that look like? Well, in one very high profile example, families of the Sandy Hook Elementary School victims sued Remington in 2015 for advertising that they said targeted young at-risk men. Remington settled that lawsuit just last year. Several states, including New York, have already created laws giving people a pathway to sue gun manufacturers. And the Washington Post reports if more and more states start trying to carve out their own exemptions to the federal law protecting gun makers, we could see the Supreme Court weigh in to try and set a national standard. You're watching Cap KV Local News at 6. We'll be back in just a moment. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. I think they like each other. <laughs> I'm Charles. Lunch? Vanessa, I like lunch. 
Give in to deliciousness. Buy one craveable classic and get another one for a buck. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Does your property look like this? With 24-7 emergency service, First Choice Restoration will be on site for any disaster within the hour. They have the expert support you can trust. Never the call you want to make. Always the first choice you should take. First Choice Restoration. We'll be there when you need us. A special place with fabulous views, mountain biking, and more. <laughs> We're blessed with an embarrassment of, of riches when it comes to open space and trails. Antoine Peak on Fly the Northwest. Stunning. Cap TV Local News at 6, Tuesday. Tom Cruise honored as a true Hollywood maverick. I wanted to make movies since I was four years old. Plus all the couples, headlines, and fashion from the NAACP Image Awards to the SAG Awards. Next Extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Cap KVU. Like, yeah, we so amazing. The stylish Chevy Equinox RS. Like, uh, and Chevy Blazer RS. So captivating. You don't have to be an influencer to be an influencer. The RS family of Chevy SUVs, definitely worth a follow. Get 2.99% financing for five years on all 2023 Equinox models, or get $1,000 cash allowance on all 2023 Equinox models. Plus, current competitive owners get an additional $750 cash allowance. Wild Horse Resort and Casino is your entertainment destination for more choice, more fun, more often. You choose. Dine at one of our nine restaurants, fast food, sit down, or a special occasion. Plan a date night movie, bowling for the whole family, or grab a seat and stay a while. It's all here at Wild Horse, your best choice for fun every day. Join us March 18th for America's favorite rock and country band, Little Texas. Tickets on sale now. Wild Horse Resort and Casino, Pendleton, Oregon. You can't believe everything you hear. Like George Washington never chopped down that old cherry tree. But you can believe in big savings during the extended President's Day Super Sale at Furniture Row. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend. Check out special purchases while they last. Plus four years, no interest financing. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices, guaranteed. But hurry, the extended President's Day Super Sale at Furniture Row ends soon. You can't do this alone. Not an investigation of this scope. We're partners. Her death is part of a pattern. Another missing murdered indigenous woman. This is about a very broken system. It's about corruption. The truth matters. We know who killed Gloria. Prove it. Water damage comes from anywhere. With 24-7 emergency service, First Choice Restoration will be on site for any disaster within the hour. With the best restoration experts for water damage, you can trust us as your premier restoration partner. Never the call you want to make. Always the first choice you should take. First Choice Restoration. Would you look at that? It's beautiful. What? That's our boy. So bright. There's no better morning than a buy one, get one for a dollar morning at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Welcome back. Washington, Hollywood has made several films in Washington State, including The Postman, filmed in Medellin Falls, and 10 Things I Hate About You, which was shot at Stadium High School in Tacoma. One film shot on the streets of Spokane also made a big splash on the silver screen. I am not taking this guy home. That's a clip from the movie Benny and June, featuring Johnny Depp and Mary Stuart Masterson. It's a sleeper hit that became a cult classic. That film marks its 30th anniversary in April, and now a Spokane group wants to celebrate. It's still working on final plans, but they want to find anyone who participated in that production or anyone with a memento or memory they want to share. We'll update you on plans to celebrate the anniversary as details come out. Still ahead tonight, he's a former Washington State Governor and U.S. Ambassador to China. Hear what Gary Locke had to say about efforts to learn the true genesis of COVID-19. Plus, we're learning more tonight about plans to demolish a home where four University of Idaho students were killed last year. And will American students get relief from their student loans? The news at 6.30 starts right now. Now, Cap gave you local news at 6.30. Now at 6.30, we're tracking the potential for rain in the region and possibly some snow in the Yakima area tonight. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Alyssa Warner. Let's take a look at the activity showing up on the radar right now. You can see it's kind of moving from west to east across the state. Jason Valentine is tracking the forecast.
Good Monday evening, everyone. Hope you've had a wonderful day today and a nice weekend as well. Think of today as a transition day. It's taking Yakima and Ellensburg a little, little longer to warm up like the mid Columbia and the lovely blues area has done so. So that's why today we've seen more snow than not in the Yakima Ellensburg areas and in the mid Columbia and the blues. We're seeing rain snow mixed to rain even right now. We do expect things to be settling down as we get overnight into tomorrow. More scattered showers than not. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we should be looking very nice. And by Wednesday, all of our areas should be pretty solidified in these warmer conditions and much more sunshine is on the way as well. So today, though, a bit of a transitional day. I'll get you ready for the rest of your work week and even a look at your weekend in my forecast coming up. But for right now, let's send it back to you. Thanks, Jason. The big case before the Supreme Court this week has to do with student loan debt. The justices will have to decide if President Biden overstepped his authority with a plan to wipe out thousands of dollars per borrower in federal student loan debt. ABC's Justin Finch has a look at what to expect ahead of tomorrow's court date. A core campaign promise of President Biden now under pressure. Our student loan program is designed to give just a little more breathing room. But is that program legal? The Supreme Court now poised to hear oral arguments beginning Tuesday. Biden's federal student loan forgiveness plan would cancel up to $20,000 for some borrowers earning less than $125,000 per year or households with less than $250,000 in income per year. Across the country, the financial futures of 43 million borrowers now hang in the balance. ABC's Devin Dwyer asking one borrower. Why is it that you think that, that the government should pick up that tab? I think that everyone has a right to say how their taxes are being spent. I feel like taxes are for the greater good and this is for the greater good. The high court taking up two separate lawsuits filed by two borrowers and a group of six Republican-led states arguing the president's plan is an illegal abuse of power and is unfair to some borrowers. People knew what they were doing when they signed it and uh, they should pay it off. But the administration argues the president has the authority to carry out his campaign promise using executive authority under the pandemic emergency. The latest Quinnipiac poll shows a majority of Americans back Biden's loan forgiveness plan. Roughly one in six adults carry some federal student debt. 26 million borrowers have already applied for debt relief. 16 million were approved for cancellation. And the high court's decision could hinge on the state of Missouri, home to the nation's largest student loan servicer. Attorneys have argued Biden's plan could reduce that servicer's revenue and eventually jeopardize state funding for Missouri's public colleges and universities. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington. Now for all of those people who applied for relief, the White House says officials are processing those applications so that they'll be ready if the courts eventually decide that the relief program is allowed. A former Washington state governor and ambassador to China is speaking out about the illness that triggered the pandemic. The U.S. Department of Energy believes COVID-19 most likely came from a laboratory leak in China. The genesis of the virus has been debated, and some experts believe COVID actually emerged from the wild. A senior U.S. official told The Wall Street Journal that new information prompted the Department of Energy's announcement. The uncertainty of COVID's origins is due to Beijing not cooperating with investigation efforts. Former U.S. Ambassador to China Gary Locke, who also served as Washington State's governor, spoke out on the issue. We need to find out exactly how the coronavirus, the COVID virus, uh, uh, hit the world and caused millions of deaths, not just in America, but all around the world. If it came from a, an animal, we need to be prepared and we need to beef up our, our public health response uh, to the next uh, pandemic. So it is important for our scientists to get to the bottom of this. Now, the current U.S. ambassador to China says Beijing needs to cooperate if it wants closer ties with the U.S. The FDA has given the green light to a new over-the-counter test that can determine if you have COVID or the flu. The test uses a self-administered nasal swab. It's 99% accurate for negative flu result and 100% accurate for a negative COVID test. It's 88% accurate for positive COVID tests and 90% accurate for positive flu results. If you have this test and you're able to say, okay, this is flu, then you can get appropriate treatment for flu or you can help to prevent the spread of flu. As opposed to if it is COVID, you can get appropriate treatment for COVID and go into quarantine or isolation. 
Now, we still don't know yet what the tests will cost or when they will be available to the public. This is just FDA approval. We're also learning more about plans to demolish a home where four University of Idaho students were killed last November. It's been the scene of the investigation for months, but now the home has been boarded up and the owner donated it to the university. Bronte Sorotsky reports on what else the university is doing to help heal the community. Both the owner and the university uh, agreed and then consulted, of course, with the families and agreed that demolition of the house uh, would would indeed happen and happen as quickly as possible. This home that's now been seen by people across the country will soon be gone. For myriad reasons that all move toward moving the university forward, moving our community forward, and most importantly, um, remembering and, and honoring the four students that died. Which has been hard to do with people constantly taking photos and videos. There have been a lot of, of Instagrammers and um, other social media people hanging around the scene and that's really not helpful for us to be able to move forward. We spoke with one student that lives next door to the home on King Road. He says he doesn't want us to use his full name, but he told us he believes demolishing the home is the right decision. I think that it's important that the university does things like that for this town and this campus, because um, people definitely need to heal from it. He says the murders that happened right next door changed how he views his town's safety. Before it happened, like, uh, I kind of threw caution in the wind all the time, like we left our doors unlocked, um, just never really felt like I had to watch my back in Moscow, Idaho. We installed a new security system and like I'm taking care of that every day. The university will also be installing a healing garden and memorial for Ethan, Zana, Kaylee and Maddie and other vandals whose lives were cut short. We hope that this place would be that place where students feel comfortable sitting or, or standing, reflecting, um, thinking about uh, maybe someone that they've lost, to have that place where they can go and feel that uh, the Vandal spirit and, and the Vandal family love. That was Bronte Sorosky reporting. Now, all of this is still in the early planning phase. Once it's complete, though, students will have a space right on their campus to reflect as they move forward from the tragedy. We have a warning tonight from the CDC about the rise of a drug-resistant bacteria. The concern focuses on Shigella infections that can cause fever, abdominal cramps, and other serious stomach issues. This illness typically strikes young children, but the CDC says it's started to see an antimicrobial-resistant infection in adults. The populations include men who have intimate relations with men, the homeless, international travelers, and those living with HIV. The CDC says limited antimicrobial treatments remain available for these particular strains. What's well, become an issue for families in Spokane who have a child with autism? They have to start from scratch finding a specialized therapist after their service provider was forced to close. They say this is a bigger issue impacting families all across the state. Ronnie Accor explains in a story new at 6.30. For 15-year-old Delia, her mom Sarah says Ascend Academy was where she belonged. I, you know, breathed a big sigh of relief because I was finally getting, you know, uh, my daughter kind of the services that she need. I thought needed. I thought at the time, Ascend Academy was a nonprofit in North Spokane operating through SOAR Behavior Services. It provided ABA or Applied Behavior Analysis, a specialized therapy for autism. It was like a final, like, oh, finally something. They're able to work with her. She's got a one-on-one, -on -one, smaller class sizes. I was super excited. SOAR Behavior Services in Spokane and Descend Academy officially closed earlier this month. And it just feels like, like the rug was kind of ripped out from under us and we're left not knowing what to do next. This has been a, an ongoing issue with really the state of Washington. Um, Washington really just doesn't pay enough for Medicaid, uh, for ABA therapy, for autism therapy. Jim Matthews is the executive director for Soar Behavior Services. He says Washington hasn't changed how much Medicaid pays for autism therapy in years. When the state doesn't provide adequate funding for it, it becomes impossible to continue operating. Matthews is trying to make a change in Olympia. The governor's budget uh, proposed a 15 to 20 percent increase in rates for ABA therapy. Now that might sound like a good number, but if you consider rates have never gone up since 2014, 
15 to 20 percent honestly is not enough. While SOAR and Ascend's doors remain closed, Sarah Crump is forced to start over. I need to be positive, but I'm also terrified for like what the rest of the year is going to look like at a school um, downtown without those supports. It's, it's just a lot of um, figuring out all over again, starting all over again, which is just heartbreaking. Still ahead tonight, snow, flooding, and twisters. We'll have the latest on severe winter weather slamming parts of the country. And Jason Valentine is tracking your forecast for the final week of February and the start of March. You're watching CapKV Local News at 630. Portion of CapKV is sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Wait, hold up. DQ put fries and onion rings in a chicken strip basket? Did you know this? Oh, of course you did. It's sitting right in front of you. Sorry. I mean, you've got fries and onion rings together. Is this for real? Hey, baby, wait. Oh, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it just got really real. Grab a chicken strip and fry rings basket. Okay, just one. Just one. DQ, happy tastes good. Get it delivered at DQ.com. One of the main reasons you watch local news is weather. And around here, trust CapKVU's first alert weather for the best and most complete weather forecast. Our powerful advanced technology help us track storms days before they arrive and help us forecast for our large region. Because we know it's important to you to get the forecast right for your specific area. It's the future of forecasting and it's here now. The best technology and the best team. First alert weather from CapKVU Local News. Helping keep you and your family safe. A lot goes into taking care of your property. You need equipment with more versatility and number one rated durability and owner experience built in. Like Kubota compact tractors that can do it all right, Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut, and the Sidekick utility vehicle built for hard work and fun at 40 miles per hour. Kubota equipment lives up to the highest standards. Yours. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. And with the rain, snow, and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Get your free roof assessment today. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roofing replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want in your yard. The easiest bank shot you'll ever make is at Legends Casino Hotel, where you can turn $1,000 into $10,000 every Thursday. Use your Legends Rewards card to earn entries into the drawings all month long. Winners will have three chances to multiply $1,000 by two, three, four, even ten times. Play Bank Shot in March, and you could be marching all the way to the bank with a basket full of cash. Only at Legends Casino Hotel, within three-point winning distance. Does your bath or shower need a remodel? Bathfitter can do it all. We will remove your existing fiberglass tub or shower and replace it with a custom crafted shower or soaker tub. All made in America at our state of the art factory. We rebuild your walls with new drywall and install a custom made tub or shower with seamless walls in as little as one day. All work is guaranteed and built to last. Call your locally owned Bathfitter store now to book your free in-home estimate or visit bathfitter.com. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Hurricane damage may show up in some surprising new places, according to research by First Street Foundation. The group says as global temperatures climb, so does the strength of storms as they push farther north. Florida and the Gulf Coast remain vulnerable to cyclonic storms, but portions of South Carolina and Georgia could also become hurricane hotspots. New York City could almost see a, the largest increase in annual property damage. According to the report, parts of Virginia and other coastal cities in the mid-Atlantic could also feel the impact. Right now, a series of severe winter storms just hitting the East Coast tonight left a path of devastation across the Midwest in the past 24 hours. ABC's Rena Roy has a look at the continuing wild winter weather. 
The same relentless storm system wreaking havoc coast to coast. At the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, students forced to shelter in a basement as a potential tornado tore through the area. A tornado Golf ball sized hail reported from Kansas to Texas and Oklahoma, where thousands were left without power. Multiple tornadoes touching down across the state. There are multiple roadways still closed due to debris and down power lines. In Norman, Oklahoma, lightning flashing through the sky during severe storms. In Shawnee, a large RV tipping over onto a home. In Southern California, residents cleaning up after a rare winter storm hit the area. Snow covering the mountains, plus rain and heavy winds bring bringing major flooding to some neighborhoods. This roof partially collapsed, trees ripped from their roots. A mudslide damaging this family's home, the back three bedrooms destroyed. Here in New York City, forecasters expecting several inches of snow, and so are other areas in the Northeast that have seen a very mild winter. Boston expecting three to six inches by Tuesday. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. All right, well, after all that, how about a sign of hope for warmer weather? One of my favorite sites of the year, blossoming in our nation's capital. D.C.'s iconic cherry trees may come early this year. A so-called indicator tree sits along the tidal basin. The National Park Service says it has already started to bud, which is the first bloom cycle stage. There's hope it means the possibility of early spring weather. Last year's peak bloom arrived on March 25th, but a normal peak bloom arrives in late March or early April. Now, Cap Cave View First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Monday evening, everyone. Hope you've had a wonderful day today. And we do have a warming trend, though some places are a little warmer than others. It's taking a little time for Ellensburg and Yakima to catch up. We do have more sunshine later this week, but light snow to rain as we move into our overnight period, though we are seeing some precipitation in many of our areas right now. So as we head into our evening hours, here's what we're looking at right now. And then things are bound to settle down in our overnight period. Again, scattered showers, very possible as we get overnight and again a little bit more snow possible for Yakima, Toppenish, Ellensburg areas and a little bit of rain snow mix for the Tri-Cities. But as we get to tomorrow morning and as we move on in the day we have kind of some showers uh, kind of surrounding us but our areas are looking to be staying dry especially by the time we get to Wednesday when all of our regions should be finally kind of solidified in those warmer temperatures and well more sunshine for your conditions. So for our temperature trend we have gotten out of that quick uh, reminder that we were in winter at the end part of last week and we're just going to stay still below the average for this time of year but still much warmer a real good uh, dichotomy to what we saw last week so warmer conditions are going to be sticking around now winds we saw pretty much light winds today they're going to pick up tomorrow about around 15 mile per hour winds and again it could be heavier in Ellensburg and Pendleton lighter on Wednesday and then some pretty heavy winds on Thursday so we do have a pretty breezy week ahead but of course that's good it keeps our air quality fresh and this wind is from the southwest so it will keep things warm throughout our areas take a look at our almanac so today 38 for the Yakima region that's more than 10 degrees off of our average we'll get much closer to that as we get to Wednesday overnights are looking pretty normal and look at that four degrees just my goodness, 12 years ago in the Tri-Cities area, still lacking a little bit behind uh, our, nor our normalcy for this time of year, but our overnight low is just above our normal and also four, and that was uh, all time low four. that was just what, four years ago. So a lot of chilly conditions that we don't have to deal with this year. So daylight savings time, just under two weeks away. Again, we gain an hour of sunshine, but we lose an hour for that weekend. St. Patrick's Day, 18 days away, and yes, spring, just three weeks away. In our overnight period, we are looking still below the freezing mark, but we're st steadily getting warmer. And again, some light snow to rain snow mix possible overnight, but nothing like we saw today. As we move into our Tuesday, 
We're going to be in those mid to lower 40s as Ellensburg and Yakima slowly start to warm up. Again, some morning precipitation possible, but we'll see some sunshine tomorrow as well. And speak. Speaking of sunshine, we have much more on the way as we get to the 50s for Thursday and Friday for the Tri-Cities. A little bit cooler for your weekend and next work week, but look at all that sunshine on the way. Overnight lows recover as well, getting near or at that freezing mark starting Wednesday late night. In the Yakima region, going to get to those upper 40s for Thursday and Friday. A little cooler as we head into our weekend. So Yakima, Ellensburg, you're still lagging a little bit behind in the temperature department from the mid-Columbia and the blues. But we're going to solidify everything by Wednesday. And again, some scattered showers possible overnight into tomorrow morning. But folks, warmer temperatures and sunshine to come this week. Thanks, Jason. We have a lot more news to share with you on our mobile app. You can use the camera on your smartphone to scan this QR code, which is also at the bottom of your screen throughout the show. The code will take you right to our app for news and weather on demand. It's free to download and there's no subscription fee. I remember when you get a whole meal for $5. <laughs> yeah, it was last Tuesday. Oh. And every Tuesday at AW, where single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just five bucks. The good old days are here again. A complete meal for just five bucks. Tuesdays only at AW. When cartels unite, the rookies team up. Got your back, boss. For a riveting crossover event. We've been given a shot of adrenaline from the LAPD. FBI! What is this, Simone? A rookie crossover event, Tuesday starting at 8, 7 central on ABC. As I'm putting together my Plan Your Day forecast, I think about how it will impact your day. My goal is to be very clear so you'll know exactly what to expect. Brianna Berman Solo and First Alert Weather on Good Morning Northwest from Cap TV Local News, helping keep you and your families safe. Us. All this isn't us. Uh -huh. Is it? When did we get so connected to our devices and so disconnected from each other? And when our phones have turned us into this? LT, what do you do when you're a company that sells them? We gotta fix this. It's time to find what we're missing. Join us in taking a break oh. from our devices. Take the phones down for five challenge for five days, five hours, or even just five minutes. Feels good. <laughs> and let's find us again. US Cellular, built for us. Where will your new Chevy take you this year? Anywhere. Find new experiences. Find new roads. Get 2.99% financing for five years on all 2022 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 2250 total cash allowance on this Silverado with a 2.7 liter engine. Plus, current competitive owners get an additional 750 cash allowance. Thanks to Les Schwab tires. I'm a constant backseat driver, but mine's a little stressed about spending. Remember, Deep breaths and watch your speed. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. During the Les Schwab Founders Celebration Sale, save up to $150 instantly on select sets of four tires. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. Cut your ties to the fuel pump with an all-electric vehicle from Overturf Kia. You'll find a great selection of new vehicles in stock now. A 2023 all-electric Kia EV6 Wind with all-wheel drive starts at just $54,135. Plus, get interest rates as low as 4.49%. Take delivery today or reserve a car that is on its way. Shop online anytime at OverturfKia.com. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. KFC has wraps now? Got two for five bucks. Mmm, yeah! wait, there's one with spicy slaw? Yeah! Grab two new Kentucky Fried Chicken wraps for just five bucks. This newscast sponsored by Kentucky Fried Chicken. A big jump in home sales between December and January surprised analysts. Data from the National Association of Realtors reported sales climbed more than 8%. Now that represents signed contracts, not closed deals, but it does show a bright spot for a struggling sector. It likely happened because mortgage rates fell during this period after peaking at more than 7%. Mortgages have climbed in recent weeks. The monthly average on a house is 45% higher than one year ago. The James Webb Space Telescope has made a fascinating discovery. It picked up six 
massive gal the galaxies. That's what you're seeing here. They existed between 500 and 700 million years after the creation of the universe. One researcher says they only expected to find baby galaxies. While data indicates that there, they are galaxies, there's also a possibility that some of these could actually turn out to be supermassive black holes. You can find the study in the journal Nature. You're watching CapKV Local News at 6.30. We'll have one final check on your forecast next. Does your property look like this? With 24-7 emergency service, First Choice Restoration will be on site for any disaster within the hour. They have the expert support you can trust. Never the call you want to make. Always the first choice you should take. First Choice Restoration. We'll be there when you need us. We hope you'll join us for Good Morning Northwest tomorrow at 5. Coming up tomorrow, we'll tell you about some upcoming fundraisers to support local domestic violence survivors. Join us at 5 and 6 on Good Morning Northwest. Wild Horse Resort and Casino is your entertainment destination for more choice, more fun, more often. You choose. Dine at one of our nine restaurants, fast food, sit down, or a special occasion. Plan a date night movie, bowling for the whole family, or grab a seat and stay a while. It's all here at Wild Horse, your best choice for fun every day. Join us March 18th for America's favorite rock and country band, Little Texas. Tickets on sale now. Wild Horse Resort and Casino, Pendleton, Oregon. Chevy Silverado factory lifted trucks. With the capability of a two inch lift, the versatility of the available multi-flex tailgate, and the connection of a 13.4 inch diagonal touchscreen. Chevy Silverado, taking adventure to a whole new level. Get 2.99% financing for five years on all 2022 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 2250 total cash allowance on this Silverado with a 2.7 liter engine. Plus current competitive owners get an additional 750 cash allowance. And now another KPKV advertiser shares a success story. It opened up a market of people that we had not previously been targeting because we didn't know they were there and they didn't know we were here. If you're a new business or just need to get the word out on where you are like we did, then I highly recommend using CapKView for your advertising. Be your own success story. Team up with CapKView Television and Phase 3 Digital. Advertising that gets results. Time for a new roof? Let Eminent Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. And with the rain, snow, and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Get your free roof assessment today. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roofing replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. Water damage comes from anywhere. With 24-7 emergency service, First Choice Restoration will be on site for any disaster within the hour. With the best restoration experts for water damage, you can trust us as your premier restoration partner. Never the call you want to make. Always the first choice you should take. First Choice Restoration. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Portion of CapKV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Before we go tonight, we're going to take one final check of your radar. We're seeing storm showers kind of move their way west to east across the state. Jason Valentine has a look at what to expect for the rest of this evening. All right, as we head into tomorrow, not too many threats. Snow to rain, snow mix possible overnight into tomorrow morning. But then we'll see things drying up as we get into the afternoon of Tuesday and pretty much for the rest of our work week. Winds are going to be picking up tomorrow as well, around 15 or so mile per hour. So a bit of a breezy Tuesday head. But air quality with that wind looks to be staying very nice. So scattered showers tonight and then slowing down into our overnight period. Tuesday will be warmer and a better day, but Wednesday is when all of our areas should solidify into that warming trend with plenty of sunshine. Thanks, Jason. Thank you so much for watching. CapKV Local News is always on at yaktrynews.com. We're back tonight at 11.